Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to this video tutorial on ESP.NET 4.5 for students of King Faisal University and for others who want to learn ESP.NET. This is part 10 in the series entitled Aries and Genetics in ESP.NET 4.5. Aries are collection of items of the same data type, while genetics are code templates or class templates that can support any type and lock kit. It also grows dynamically. One of the classes that support genetics is the list class. Notice how we declare an array of string with two elements and how we reference each element using index that starts with zero. Look at how we add values in the list using the method add. In activity 10, we will create an ASP.NET website and place it in C ASP activity 10. We will create an ASP.NET web form named Array and List that will allow a user to enter numbers to a list box through text box and button. Then we will generate their sum using two options, a code that uses Array and a code that uses List. So these are the objects that we are going to need for our web form. Three buttons, one text box, one list box, and three labels. Let's create our website, file new, website, we'll put it in CASP activity 10. We'll create our web form, add new item, and we'll call it array and list. Let's go to the design view. Let's insert a table with uh, five rows, maybe, and uh, four columns. Here, we'll put a button. We'll change the text to add. Next to it, we're going to add a text box. Then below here, we'll just type number of items. And here we will put a label objects, label object, I mean. And then here we will put a list box. Let's change the height to 100 and also the width to 150, maybe. Maybe 100 only. Okay, then. We will need here the sum. Okay, here we will put the next column. We will put array of five integers. This is for example. And in the next column, we're going to put list of integers here we will put another button this is button 2 and we'll put the text get some the next button is button 3 but we will put the same text get some so the idea is that this one uh, will compute the sum and we will place it in level 2 but we're going to use array. Well, here, uh, when we click the button for the list of integers, we're going to use list, and the sum will be placed in label. Okay, that's it. Let's uh, go to our event. First, we're going to declare the arrays. The first, uh, the array in list. Uh, the first one is using array. Let's call it sum array is equal to new integer our example is set to five elements and then now notice the difference automatically with integer with list we're in there is no limit because it is dynamic list int and then parenthesis crack okay so we are on button two i think we should start with the first button button one okay so for button one 
we will just add items to the list box using whatever is inside text box one dot text correct uh, let's set the focus to text box one while we are adding and one thing more we have to put in label level one dot text the current uh, number of items in the list box so that is list box one that items that count correct but we have to convert it to string using to string method okay that's it now we can go to button two remember that button two is the one that will use array okay so let's use the for loop for integer x equal this will be our variable for referencing x is less than list box one that items that count correct and then we'll increment x okay now inside it we will set uh, the value of the array using the index x and okay it will be whatever is in the top or inside the list box so since they are text we're going to use convert dot to int 32 and then there will be list box one that items and we'll use reference let's start with zero dot text correct converted to integer okay that's it so now all the items inside the list box will already be contained inside some array okay. then we can compute uh, the sum by using uh, the sum method and the result will be placed in label 2 label 2 that text is equal to sum array dot sum there it is the sum method and then we'll just convert it to string so that it can be placed in label one dot text okay i think we're done yeah i think we're done with array so now test how we declare the array and how we reference each value using an index and for that we use a for statement now let's try to use list. So for list, there is our uh, list declaration. It's sample list. The name is sample list. So we're going to use also for. Let's use the same uh, construct integer x is equal to zero. Uh, x is less than list box one that items. Uh, that count correct and we'll increment also x by one okay so how are we going to add items to the list so it's sample list using the add method so no need for indexing and then we will convert the same we will convert to integer 32 the items in list box one that items so here items we will still be needing the referencing x and that text okay correct correct yeah correct so that's it. Using add, we were able to add in our sample list, in sample list, all the items inside the list box. So to compute for the sum, 
it also has that sum uh, method. We will put it in label 3, that text. So that would be sum list dot sum. And we'll convert it to string. Okay, I think we're done. Crack, I think we're done. So let's go to our web browser and see how it will work. Let's add one, okay, two, three, five, according to our example. We get the sum, correct. We get the sum, correct. Now notice that right now there are four elements. If we add another one, six, and we use area five integers, it's still okay. For a list, it's still okay. Now let's add a sixth element. Remember that our array has a limit of five integers only. So let's add. So now there are six items. Let's use list. It's okay. Let's use array. Now there's an error and it's out of bounds because uh, the limit of the array is only up to five elements. That is the reason why list is dynamic. So there's a way to resize the array using a resize, but we will not discuss it in this tutorial. Well, uh, I think that's it. So congratulations. We just finished implementing arrays and generics using list in ASP.NET. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Masalama.